Hi everyone, Nevada Nail Person, and today I'm going to share what was in my makeup basket for the past week. This is Saturday, September 26th. Again, another easy makeup week. Um, I resigned from my job, so I'm just wrapping up there, and I'll be there through the 30th, and then I'm done. So basically, I'm on the job market. So I guess in the next few weeks, we'll be concentrating on interview-appropriate makeup. So we'll concentrate on, that will be the theme of our baskets. So um, I guess no Kat Von D type shadows or, or crazy lipsticks, they'll all be nude. So let me share what I had in my basket this week. So I've been trying to use up this Dr. Jart BB cream and it's okay. It's not my fave, I hate to say. Um, it does leave my face feeling kind of tacky. I do that it's do like that it's SPF 45, so I will probably hang on to, I did purchase the full size tube and then I got this, so um, it felt different when I sampled it at Sephora, so I will just hold on to the regular size tube for next summer because SPF 45 is pretty good. Um, so using this one up and we'll see next summer, maybe my thoughts will change about it. So. Then for eye looks, um, and I, I did use um, Smashbox um, water as a primer sometimes. I really haven't been using primer that much this week. I just use it once or twice and then I said, oh, why am I bothering? So I really didn't use primer so much this week for a face primer. Uh, for eye primer, I did use my Urban Decay um, Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer Potion or a combination of these two. This is the Tarte one that's almost gone. Look, that's it. That's it. So almost. It didn't quite make it for September. Um, so on my eye, if um, I was just having a simple look, I had my um, MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I would just dip my brush in there and you can see it's all kind of stipply looking. <laughs> And I would use that as a base on my shadow to just um, clear, cancel out any darkness. And if I did feel like having something on my eye, I actually have um, another Pro Longwear paint pot in Chilled on Ice, which is like a shimmery gold color. So it looks like this. So it's just something to put throw on your eye. You probably use it as a highlighter all over too, come to think of it. See, just a shimmer. Um, in that case, then I would use um, my primer potion and, and the Tarte to cancel out any darkness. Um, and of course, um, if I needed any depth, if I were using an eye look and I had a few extra minutes, I would use my Naked Basics, which I love this little guy. I've had it a while now. haven't hit pan on it yet, but... Um, you can see it's definitely well loved. So, love this guy. Um, for eye looks, I did pull out um, the Kat Von D shadow and Dose. I had wore. I only wore this once on Friday. I was just said, you know what? I need a little bit of color. So it's pretty coppery, um, red toned copper. Um, so it was a little bit different than my normal look for the week, going from nude practically to this on Friday. But this shadow wears so well, I have to say. So if you can, I would try one of these babies because really they're excellent. And then I think the day before, because it was usually casual dress on, on Thursday and Friday, I pulled out one of my ColourPop in the... Um, there's a ColourPop Super Shock shadow in Mirage. So it's just a shimmery, like a greenish khaki kind of shade. So that's what it looks like. Oh, it's very light. So you can't really see. There. There it is on my finger. So it's just a shimmery shade. So then I would use my Naked Basics palette in conjunction with. So. That's what I had on my eyes, and additionally, I would use my um, front of the line dark brown eyeliner from Lorac. I love this. I 
think I saw something where they have a holiday set for these pens, pencils, and I'm, I would get it. I really like them a lot. Um, I'm going through my Benefit They're Real Beyond Brown, and I love this formula so much better than the blue um, They're Real Beyond Blue mascara. I, I, that one was so much drier. This one's so much better, so I'm happy with this mascara. And then, of course, for under eye, um, uh, the e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer, along with the Becca uh, um, Under Eye Shimmering Corrector, or Brightening Corrector for Under Eyes, and it just looks like that. So it's just a peachy shade. It really doesn't give you any coverage, but it sort of primes you and readies for... Um, some um, type of concealer product. So I'm trying to use up this. And it's just a tad left. Um, this is the Garnier BB Cream Miracle Skin Perfector. Daily Eye Roller Ball and Light. And just gives you a little bit of coverage. Works well with BB creams. But a couple of days this week I thought I needed a little more and I pulled out this NARS um, Radi Radiant Creamy Concealer and I have it in um, uh, what is the shade? Vanilla. And, um, I'm just not a fan of this, so I just got to use it up before it really dries out. But I have to say, it's just chalky on me, and, and I don't know, not loving it. And then, of course, I use my ELF High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. And I've been using this on my face. This is the Bare Minerals, um, Mineral Veil. And I don't know, I'm just not loving it like I used to. Like I, I used it just before to set the BB cream, that Dr. Jar BB cream that I used. And it just feels very cakey on my skin. And maybe I used too much or what. I'm, I don't know. I might have to pull out another type of setting powder. I'm just not happy with this. Um, but I do want to use it up. So, And then for highlights... Um, I got this item in one of my beauty boxes. This is the So Susan Statement Skin Highlighting Crayon. So uh, this this is an excellent product. I mean, look at that highlight right there. Um, and I've been using that like in my inner corners just to give it a little extra something because again, I need that brightness. Um, for contouring, I have my Lorac Pro contour, which I love this guy. I use it every day um, for under eyes and whatnot. Um, helps set as well. I actually like it better as a setting powder than the um, Bare Minerals, but um, I do use some of the lighter powders under my eyes. Um, Hula um, for the bronzer. So actually, I can use either or. I don't need both, actually. So maybe one day I only picked up Hula and you could see a hit pan and really want to use it up. So this is a great, great product. Really great product. And then finally, um, the Too Faced Love Flush Blush in Love Hangover. And um, I really like this blush, I must say. It's really cute and it wears well. I'll be sad when the, the bunnies wear down. Um, it's so cute. But I like this blush a lot. And, um, and then I pulled out the other Anastasia um, highlighter or illuminator in Peach Nectar. And that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, my other one experienced a little tragedy. Um, there's that highlighter. It's a little bit too orange. So it's more of a blush topper. So just have to be careful how I use it. I it did say for light skin, so um, it's more like a blush almost. But I do love it, and look at that pattern. That's how my other one should look. Um, it's a great product, though. And for brows, my Your Brows But Better from It Cosmetics. Um, same idea as the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's just a little pencil and just fill in 
with a spoolie on the other side and it's a universal shade so it's supposed to be for everyone and then um, finished off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills tinted brow gel and I have brunette so it's just a shimmery brown and look see that's almost done as well it's a little tilted but it's more like down to here at this point so I have to leave it standing up in my, my basket and then finally for lip two products um, first off is this Rimmel Provocalypse and I've been loving this this is great love it and actually I read off the shade incorrectly yes, um, last time this one is called um, Make Your Move I thought it was Rosetto but it's Make Your Move I found it on there so it's a great product and it is pretty long lasting um, and it's not as dry as some of the um, liquid type lipsticks because you do have this um, glossier side so it's very comfortable on the lips so I'm definitely getting more of these loving this and then finally um, I have a ColourPop lippy sticks and this is in the shade Lady so it was kind of dark and I wore this one day and I'll just swatch it here so you can see it's like that brownie purple red type of shade so it was pretty dark on me um, so I used it in conjunction with my um, Bite Beauty um, lip treatment balm so it really sheared it out so that was for my lips and then setting my face I have my L'Oreal infallible makeup setting spray that is my go-to so that is it that's everything I use this week in my makeup basket and um, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll talk to you soon.